Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, I'm going to be working on, this is part three of the, uh, the Nine Pound Hammer song series. In part one, I talked about the melody and uh, singing along with, with the song itself, um, finding the chord, getting the chords in the right place and playing rhythm. Part two, I introduced a little break that I invented that was mostly just the melody uh, with adding some shuffle and a little bit of a turnaround at the end. Um, so check out those lessons if you haven't already because this lesson is gonna um, use information from both those first lessons. Um, and I'm going to talk about playing this song and singing this song in different keys. So um, what we're gonna do is the, the goal of this lesson is to make it so in 10 minutes or however long the lesson takes, I'm going to teach you to play this song in every key that there is, as well as the break. Um, you know, you're going to learn to play the chords and the, the break in every key in 10 or 12 minutes is my hope. Let's see if I can hold myself to that. Uh, if you need uh, tabs, standard notation, chords, melody, all that sort of stuff, it's over at mandolessons.com, as well as a couple ways to donate. Always appreciated, but not required. Uh, new lessons come out every Thursday, so please subscribe. And here we go. So we've been working in the key of A using this chop shape. If you're unfamiliar with that, uh, check out the previous lessons and the chop chord lesson at mandolessons.com. So we're going to be playing in B flat. So we're going to take that A shape, move it up one fret, B flat. Hope I don't get out of my singing range. I'm sure I will at some point here. This nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. That's E flat for my side. That's F for my side, back to B flat. Roll on, buddy, with a load of coal. E flat, F, roll. When the wheels won't go, back to B flat. So we've got B flat, E flat, F, and B flat. It's the same shapes as A, D, E, and A that we've been using. It's just everything is up one fret. Um, and that is going to work. You know, you can do the same thing. You can take take it down a half step, and now you're in A flat or G sharp. If this is an unfamiliar concept to you, do check out the, um, the chop chord lesson, and there's some lessons on learning to play in every key and learn all major and minor chords. A lot of that information gets transferred into what I'm talking about here. So, now we're in B flat. We've got our chords. We've played along with it. Hopefully it's not too high for your voice, but if it is, stick with us and we'll get to a, a key that feels comfortable for you. Um, now we've got this melody that we were playing in A that sounds like this. It's sort of like the basic melody with some shuffle added uh, in the key of A. What we're going to do is we're going to take our pointer finger and we're going to just lay it over the first fret like this. This is just kind of like a visual guide just for a moment. And we're going to pretend our pointer finger is the new nut. Here's the nut of the instrument. Um, and we're going to take that nut and it's like putting a capo on except it's our first finger. Um, our first finger is just going to hang out around this first fret. And the, the, the new break in the key of B flat is the same notes, just everything's up a half step and it sounds like this. And watch my left hand as I do this. So that's the melody. I didn't play it quite note for note, but the tabs and standard notation are over on the website. Um, but I'll go through that in B flat, and then you'll start to notice something. So uh, the notes we're going to be using are all third fret, fifth fret, and first fret. So the first phrase, three, three, five, one, a 
again. That's the little pickup. This nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. So that's five, 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 three. Oops. Five, 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 three, one, five. So that's all A string except for that fifth fret at the end on the D string. And you, this melody should sound familiar to you because you've done the part two of this series. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of speeding through it in this way um, because the melody should sound familiar and it's just about finding these notes on the instrument. So let's play that first half again. Shuffle. Shuffle. Oh, sorry. Uh, shuffle. So as you're watching this, you'll notice my pointer finger never moves from this little area. I kind of just keep it ready, and any time I'm tempted to play an open string, my pointer finger drops in and says it's no longer an open string, it's now first fret. Let's do that again. Three, three, five, one. Shuffle. Five. That's into the B part. Instead of this open E string, we're in B flat, which is a half step above. So our open E string, roll on buddy, is now first fret. So roll on buddy, five, three, one. So roll on buddy. And then shuffle it. So that's the last little phrase. Let's get that. That's sort of the, the one little um, part that moves away from the melody. And again, watch my pointer finger. Everything's just, my all my fingers are just staying in this little shape here. It's all five threes and ones. And if you can really remember that the whole break that I've designed here is all five, three, and one, your fingers will just naturally it's all just those notes it's one two three four five six it's just six different notes one two three four five six it's a pentatonic b flat um six note oh i guess well yeah pentatonic scale there's six notes but two of them are f's Um, so there's five different notes and an extra F. So that um, that's the break. You know, work through it. Check out the tabs and standard notation on the website. Um, and really, just more than anything, oh, I dropped my pick. If you've watched my beginner series, you'll know that dropping your pick gets you 10 points because it means you're holding your pick nice and loose. Um, so I just gave myself some points there. Um, but that might be the first time I did it in the lesson. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, really use your ear more than anything else and just try to get, work on B flat first. And get that under your fingers. It's close enough to A. Work on getting those chords. And then if you've been saying this whole lesson, but I can't sing anywhere near that pitch. It's either way too low or way too high for me. What you can do is move to a different string. So you can move down a string. Um, so rather than going three, three, five, one, let's take it down to three, three, five, one. So now in the G string, third fret on the G, five on the G, one on the D. 
and that's going to bring you into the key of E flat. This nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. Put it for my side. Put it for my side. And your chords are going to be E flat, so. This nine pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my side, buddy for my side, roll on buddy, roll so slow, how can I roll when the wheels won't go? So that's too low for me, <clears throat> um, but it could be right in line with where it's comfortable for you to sing it. So that's one option. You know, ultimately the thing with singing songs and bluegrass is it's about the the singer of the song gets to pick the key because that's where it's comfortable for them to sing. And hopefully they don't pick a key that's too weird. But uh, if they do, um, what I've got is I've got all the, the tabs written out in every key. So A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A all the way through um, and just play through play through it in a couple different keys and you'll see that you're using the same shape so let's go back to B flat this nine pound hammer is a little too heavy put it for my side put it for my side if you want to do it in B you're now once you start using these three five one shapes and you get your pointer finger kind of acting as the capo like i was talking about earlier you can then slide that anywhere so let's go to four 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 six two six four two four four uh, six you get the idea Go up again, five, seven, and three. Five, five, seven, three. Or you can move over a string to five, seven, three, starting on the G string. And the, uh, the way to figure out what key you're in when you're doing this on this song, when you get to hammer, this nine pound hammer, whatever note you're playing on the word hammer, that's your, that's the key of the song. This nine pound hammer, so first fret on the A string is a B flat. I can just put my hand down somewhere random, like sixth fret on the D string and use that shape. Six, six, eight, four. There's nine pound hammer. I don't even know what key this is until I look at it. Hammer is on a fourth fret of the A string, so I'm playing in C sharp. And then finding those chords using those shapes from the the previous lessons. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, shoot them in, down in the comments and we'll help each other out, figure out what's going on here. Uh, I hope it's been a helpful series for you, getting into playing in some different keys, uh, learning to play a little bit up the fretboard, um, working out breaks for a song, things like that. Again, it's not about this song. It's about gaining the skills to play any song in any key. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you need the uh, tabs or standard notation, they are over at the website mandolessons.com. And um, I've, again, I've got all 12 keys written out. So if you want to go, this is going to be a big PDF on the part three of Nine Pound Hammer lesson in the song section. Um, I'll just have them all written out in all 12 keys so you can kind of check yourself. But really, Work on using your ear, getting your pointer finger in on that first fret or just kind of the lowest fret you're at.
Um, and you'll really start to get a feel for it, and it'll be that much easier when you try to apply these rules to a different um, song. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.